not enough to know uh, the object or, or to know the barks. We have to know history that connects it. What we call this in uh, Ojibwe country, native country, is Wigwasajima. Uh, it's a birch bark canoe. Wigwas is the native name for birch bark. Birch bark is one of the few trees that I know of that has never been struck by lightning. So they used to always say, you know, when you're in the woods and there's a storm, hug a birch tree. <laughs> because it won't strike, lightning won't strike a birch tree. And there's a reason for that. A long time ago, the, the Thunderbird uh, was trying to get at a mischievous being that had played Hobart with uh, his family. A thunder being was chasing uh, this young being and it ran into a birch bark log, inadvertently ran into a birch bark hollow log, and uh, the lightning of the Thunderbird's eyes were shooting darts at this being, and he ran into birch bark, and it bounced off, and he couldn't see or harm this being because birch bark protected it. And from then on, the old Indians knew that whenever they wanted anything preserved, whenever they wanted anything, uh, saved or stored, they would use these things. This is a makuk. This is a birch bark uh, vessel or basket. Makuk, we call it. This is one of the few uh, vessels that you could actually boil water in for stew and food and cook things in it. But a long time ago, birch bark was not only for cooking and storing. When we die, we get wrapped in birch bark. Everything has its place and everything has its time. And and so it has this definition too. So a lot of times, uh, not only do we boil and cook food with birch bark, but in the end, they wrap our bodies in birch bark and put us in the, in the grave and, and uh, we face west because that's the way we go, west. It's funny because uh, our birch bark, well, call again, our birch bark lodge, our house, faces east. Our sweat lodge, our homes, all our doors open to the east. So this birch bark lodge faces east. When you're wrapped in birch bark, you face west because then you're going home. Mm -hmm.